And hello again, folks. It is I, Kamikaze. One moment as I make this full screen. And I welcome you back to the world of Danganronpa. Well, unfortunately, you know, obviously the not good news that uh, Miu is dead. I've been trying to wrap my brain around it. When I was, like, right after I finished playing last night. Just wrap myself up in this blanket. We're in the middle of investigating. Oh, I hate this little shit. But, I mean, it looks like she choked. Or was choked. Something or another. And then there's this poison. But the poison said it kills you instantly. Instantly. So that wouldn't happen. What does this shit have to say? Dot, dot, dot. Alright, what else can I look at? Okay, I looked at the visor, right? This is the device we wore on our heads to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in. Yeah, others have them removed. Why? <laughs> My concern is the cords. I'm supposed to plug in the two cords. Yeah, we already read this. Alright, so who haven't I talked to? Like I thought. Oh yeah, that's right. She said she thought she saw Mew ten minutes ago. Uh, but that was, you know, the ten minutes that was in the game world. <laughs> what? Oh, shut up, you little shit. Because? <laughs> hey. That's just speculation, Kokichi. You can't judge in hindsight. My bad. I still don't understand what the bang was. And the toilet paper off the edge. Ah! He was, but Samugi and I are positive it was his voice. We heard Kibo from the entrance hall when he should have been at the chapel. Well, I mean, who says you couldn't hear him when he was on the other side of the, you know, river? Because then that would put him in the same area. Because when we went over there, that's, well, what? where he was. Dot, dot, dot. Hey. By the way, Kokichi, did you hear the loud noise or Keyboy's voice at all? Ah. <sighs> Kaito! 
Don't screw around. Huh? My conversation. Uh, um... We saw Gonta as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Yeah. So don't trust that little shit. I suppose not. But... Shut up! So movie's account has been added to the truth bullet of the monopad. Loud noise has been added to the monopad. Okay, um... Guess I'm gonna have to talk to everyone. Hey! Going to... are you alright? You're so dumb. By the way... Going to don't know! How'd this happen? How can this be? It's true. I mean, it couldn't have been Gonta. I mean, I think Gonta is going to be the innocent one through the very end. Hey, don't talk about him like that. I'm disappointed. Ouch. Sorry. Go to idiot. Go to. Hey. Mm. Go to do his best. I don't think I just did that. Sorry about that noise. Yeah. Now Kokichi is encouraging him? I don't really know what Kokichi is thinking. That he's a little bitch. I mean, what? You're right. That's right. You saw that Mio's avatar in the virtual world had stopped moving. Mm. Hey. Can you tell me more about that? A any details? I. Well, no, no shit. How about something new? Hey. No. You volunteered to look around outside. That must be the sound I heard as well. Hmm. Something hitting the chapel wall? Hmm. Uh, um. That's when you went to log out to check Mio's real body, correct? But... Uh, that doesn't make any sense, because Mew caused that, like, intentionally for some reason. Thank you. I see. Thank you. Oh. Because? <laughs> well, that's who could come into contact with her in the digital world. I'm still worried about that space and that log, but he's the uh, Monotaro said that there was no editing involved. Who could have come into contact with Mio at the chapel? There must be some kind of secret passage, right? Events at the chapel will have been added to your boo I suppose I've investigated everything that I can here. Hey! No. No, that might not actually be the crime scene. Or this might not be the actual crime scene. Yes, injuries in the virtual world could be fatal in the real world. Meaning there is a possibility that she was killed in the virtual world. Which means the next area to investigate should be... Oh, I see. 
See? Uh, this guy, kid, this thing. Got it. <sighs> oh? Yeah. I mean, honestly, if someone was going to murder someone, they should have murdered Suichi, so that way no one could freaking solve this, because everyone else is idiots. Um. All right. Ah. Everyone's excited. Mew's dead, you fucktards. That's fine. No sleepy. No sleepy for Gonta. No! I don't trust you at all. Huh? Yeah, what? Hmm? My bad. Um, Maki, can you, like, tie him up forever? Huh? See? Do you want to die? Thank goodness. Huh? Hey! Hey, look! That's like something I've said. All right already. Uh, okay. Kaito, let's just focus on solving the case for now. <laughs> Thank goodness. You are not the ultimate supreme leader. I want to know what his real ultimate skill is. So that means... Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. What? I told you. Um... Kaito, let's go. Kaito, Kibo... Himiko, Sumugi, and I prepare to enter the virtual world. Freaking, that's... <sighs> we picked up our helmets once again, sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. No, let's switch it around, see what happens! <laughs> Sure to get it right. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place the devices on our heads and flip the switch. <laughs> yeah, I think VR would go too far if it started doing senses. I mean, it'd be cool if, you know, you had the ability to, like, think and move your body, but going into the senses of pain and pleasure, uh, that's going into the aspect of, um, <laughs> ways to digitally murder someone. Great, huh? Why are you so chipper? Um... You know... 100%. So if you're logged out and you log back in, you'll log into this room. Hmm. Well, she said that, but my opinion is, is for you to do it. But I'm thinking that little shithead could say someone else's name because... He talked with Monokuma for some kind of modification. Huh? Okay. What should we do? That's right. That's right. We should. I mean, there's a chance that, you know, my cat could stop doing whatever she's doing. Um, maybe Mia's consciousness is trapped in here. We're going to the chapel and I can't even remember the freaking song. So 
Diamond just leaves me behind. Got it. Yeah. I mean, this would be an interesting way to play the game. I should check the map before heading to the chat. Why? We already know. Uh, the two maps on the wall. One is the mansion, one of the world. Why is there a bathroom in this world? Well, check the map to the mansion first. The first floor has the salon, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. The second floor is the roof. We split up when looking for the secret of the outside world. Kokichi had the salon, Samugi in the dining room, Kaito on the roof, and Gonta on the outside. And me, I was in the kitchen. Why is there a stupid loading zone? It doesn't seem necessary. This is the map of the entire virtual world. The world is surrounded by walls in all four directions. There's a loading point in the middle, so the map is split in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map loading point. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. You also have to cross the river that runs parallel to it. That's how this world is designed. But who says there isn't an underground? I mean, you'd still have to go through the whole loading thing, but... Strange, I feel as though there's some secret to this. A map of the world has been added. This map was made by Mew. Is that what it... Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. Uh, huh? Yeah. Huh? Hmm. No. I never did anything like that. Shuichi. Oh, you need some dog. Indeed. That's fine. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I'm fine. I'm just making mental notes and adding it to my Monokuma pad. So that way I can find out which one of you... Well, I'm, I really, really want it to be shithead, and I haven't thought of anything that would cause anyone else to be blah blah blah. Hmm. Unless I caused it by accident, because she was still alive when they came out, which means that when they removed the headset... Oh, that would just not be fair. That's like setting someone up to freaking fail. I mean... That's wrong. I'm investigating. Just investigating. I want to check out the bathroom. First, I should head to the chapel. Screw you! <laughs> Let me explore of my own free will! Bling! Uh, are we gonna go look at the toilet paper? What happened? No, 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 no. You mean the toilet paper? Yep, there. Hmm. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. <laughs> Who would wipe their ass out in the cold? Huh? It's like where the bear, <laughs> a bear and a rabbit were in the woods, and the bear asked the rabbit. Does shit stick to your fur? The rabbit says no. So the bear picks up the uh, rabbit and uses it to wipe. Which means... Psst, too difficult. No. Uh, no, I, I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. Huh? Swoosh! Freaking guy can fly. But. This case has me a little more. confused than usual. Can I get coins again? Coins? No, doesn't look like it. Hey, people! Hey, so. Yeah, I don't understand that aspect no. either. Did she kill herself so she could be in this world forever? No. Ah, 
but there's something bothering. But there's something bothering me. Wait, so is the river running? What? They come on from the mansion side. Unless, does it circle around? Wait, no, because then there's a wall and you can't get past the wall. From the chapel to the mansion, that's odd. The flow of the river. Shuichi. I mean, think later. This is what we do. All right. For now, we need to investigate the scene. Signboard added to truth bullets. Ah. Uh, oh, she actually fell down. And she has a cell phone and a hammer? The hell's with that? Could she use the cell phone to log out? No. She could have programmed something weird like that. So... The frickin' hell? Um, sure, why not? If it took you a year to chant or whatever, then begin. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Actually... Uh, right. Hey, it's a hammer. This is a hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? Mew said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she'd miss a hammer. Was Mew lying? But why would she lie? Maybe she fell down and broke her neck. Cellular telephone. Is this a cell phone? There are cell phones in this world? But what could they be for? No. That's it. It's a phone, so... Righto, perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. I just want to test something out. Come on, man. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Thank you, Kaito. You know, talking this heliophone. Is that all right? Hmm? Ah, you can. Which means it might not be the little shithead, because there's a cell phone on this side. But if those three were inside, how could they... That doesn't make any sense. It's pink, like what she would use. This can be used to log out, just like the phone at the salon. But you just discovered you can log other people out. And it proves that it doesn't have to be the person themselves, if you just say their name. You can log anyone out if you like. Well, I'm gonna log everyone out. All right. I see. Thanks to Kaito's help, I'm starting to pin this down. Throw it in the river. Dot dot dot. I bet Kaito was pretty surprised when he logged out suddenly. Hmm. I should apologize for that later. Not a lot later. with a pallet. Is this a piece of lattice? Why is it here? <laughs> Mysterious magical object. Uh, um... To get a splinter, which causes an infection in the digital world, causing you to die in the real world from a virus. It's a wooden mat. It used to be common in bathrooms. Mm -hmm. 
There has to be a way of going from one end to the other. Not from the chapel, then why is it here? Yeah. Huh? You did? I see. Someone could have. Someone really could have. Because there was a bathroom. That's why I wouldn't let me check the bathroom. Stupid game developers ruining my fun. <laughs> no. I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if you did use it to cross, there's no reason it would be here. Uh. It's true. Unless someone from that side came over here, pulled the stunt, and then used it to get... No, they couldn't have used it to get back. Unless there's another way back. Why would you want to test me? Yeah. I'm not positive why the lattice is left here, but... I'm sure that I must have something to do with the case. Guess we'll look at the avatar. Mew's avatar is frozen, collapsed in the snow. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains. Makes sense for a killing game simulator. If the body just disappeared, we couldn't investigate. Hmm. The avatars never show injuries, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. But... Uh, okay. Yeah. Mew's avatar has been added. Um. Well, that's all four of those objects. Actually, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of obvious already. Hey. So that could that have been her falling from the roof? But then how did you, we hear it over at the mansion? Something hit the chapel wall. Hmm. Maybe when Mia was getting strangled, she just ran headlong into the freaking wall. Bam! Thank you. Thanks. I got it. There must be some clue in that account. Hmm. Um. What's wrong, Kibo? Is something bothering you? Well. Uh, you heard um, whispering? Yes. That's right. Hmm. Huh? Meet each other. Yes. Then, then those two met on the rooftop. Well, yeah, that that's exactly what I'm curious about. Is there has You're to right. be some way? No, she was misleading you by getting rid of the bridge to make it so it would look like there was no way that they could end up meeting together. So there has to be another way there. Hmm. That's true. Something is strange about all this. You know, Mia looks a lot prettier now that she's dead and she can't talk. Not that her body being dead is pretty, it's just she seems much more... So much quieter. Okay, I finished the investigation of this area, and I also finished the recording of this episode. So, 
I'm still pretty damn confused and I don't have any solid suspects besides Kokichi. But I'm really worried that when um, Kibo and Maki remove the headset that they're going to be implicated as the murderers. And if that's the case, that is bullshit. But we'll never know yet. So, I'll see you next time in the next episode of Danganronpa V3. Delicious.